Hi guys and welcome to our latest kitchen project. We are here in Mill Hill, just a stone's throw from the showroom and this has got to be one of the nicest kitchens we've done to date. I'm super excited to share with you this kitchen. It is a very exclusive early access. The client has hardly moved in yet, but we had to show you, I'm too excited about it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, so you can stay tuned for all future kitchen content. So we'll start where we always start with the island behind me, and this is a very, very special island. So we've actually built a bonquette seating area on the back side of the island. So you'll see it's on three sides. It's formed out of this charcoal flow material, which is a lot of the frontages on the tall units as well. And we have this soft upholstered uh, seating on three sides, as I said, and you can see that the client's gone for this lovely um, oval table in the centre with four dining chairs around it. It's a stunning, stunning centrepiece to this kitchen. We'll get into the island as well a bit later on, but first thing I wanna show you is almost like a standalone area is this display come pocket door unit. So what we've got either side of the pocket door unit are these glazed doors. This is a Berwick door, so it's two strips of material in this satin black with a clear glass centre panel, and then we've got glass shelves internally that have been backlit so you can see it coming all the way through to the front. Really, really lovely. As I said, unfortunately, it's not dressed just yet. And then in the center, again, charcoal flow, this beautiful grained material, really, really nice. R. Mac Martin spark brick handles on here, lovely bit of kit. And then we open the pocket door larder and we have the same quartzite running through here, LED strip lighting on three sides double thick shelves in this satin black, and then two super deep drawers below. The drawers are Legra box, stainless steel sided drawer boxes, uh, and there are double sockets in the back panel here for toaster, coffee machine, all that lovely stuff that's gonna go in here once the client's properly moved in. Talking of the quartz worktops in here, this is actually a quartzite, so it's a natural material. It's sort of got the veining of a marble, but with the natural hard wearing properties of a granite. And this is this quartzite called Belvedere. Absolutely stunning stuff. So it's got a black base with sort of white amber veining internally. And you'll see here, we've got uh, this lovely 30 mil thick um, quartzite on the island and in the pantry, and as well 30 mil thick on the cooking area. So behind me, again, we get into a tall bank of units, also in this uh, charcoal flow color. This is an incredible refrigeration piece. It's a Gaganel 900 wide fridge. So single door, and you can see there is just the most unbelievable space in here. Two drawers at low level, and then you've got a slightly shallower section at high level to make room for these racks on the backs of doors, stainless steel internals. This is a unbelievable bit of kit. Next to this, we've got the Siemens Studio line appliances. So you'll notice the graphite gray trim rather than the stainless steel trim. And these are two single ovens side by side. We've got uh, storage above, this is a fully shelved unit. And then below again, we've got more shelving below there. And then coming round, we have another bit of food storage. This is a sort of a pantry. So we've got three glass fronted uh, stainless steel sided Legra box drawers, shelves above, notice some, uh, some prime, very in demand right now. Shout out KSI. And then on this side of the island, we have a Siemens microwave. So this is at low level. And then we've got some more drawers here. This is almost like a prep area. So we've got a built under freezer, so a small freezer. And then we've got some drawers on this side. Clients using it for cups currently, but this is such a good serving area, especially when you have guests. But opposite this is the main cooking area of the kitchen. So we've got this lovely Belvedere quartzite again running through and then up to the underside of these wall units. The wall units are in the satin black and then all around that we have this charcoal flow material. So either side of the hob we've got uh, drawers, internal cutlery drawer uh, with a deeper drawer below. And then on this side we've got an internal utensil drawer. Uh, the hob is a Siemens induction hob, so it's actually a five ring, so uh, two flex sections and then a big wok burner in the middle. Of course, it's induction, not gas, but it still can be used for bigger pots and pans. And the extractor is actually recessed here into the wall unit, so we've basically made this lovely cover box that you can pull out if you ever need to service that extractor. And then there's storage either side here, but you'll notice how it's set back from the remainder of this area. And then we have an LED strip like running through in front and then also behind in this wall unit. Lovely, lovely glow this kitchen has in the evening. As you can tell, it's winter, it's about five o'clock and it's got a lovely ambiance in this kitchen. Coming round, we have another sort of larder. This is a pull-out um, pull pantry unit. So we've got lots of racks for um, racks on the back of the door and then pull-out trays. Uh, clients using it for pasta sauces and tunas and all that sort of good stuff. 
And then next to this, we have a double height Le Mans corner. So as you can see, four trays, usually you have a base corner with two trays. This has got four trays, non-slip mats in there. Really, really lovely bit of kit. You're using the whole corner here. And then above this, we've just got some fully shelved uh, storage. Coming round, we've got the sink area, the main wet area of the kitchen. We've got a pull-out unit here. This is a Kuka Matte Black Pro 3 Flex. So we've got your boiling water dispensed at the push of a button. We've got the pull-out nozzle. So this is a spray feature. And of course, it dispenses your normal hot and cold water. We've got two sinks. We've got a 700 wide sink and a 450 sink here, both in gunmetal, which is a lovely black color, picking up on the tones of the rest of the kitchen. Uh, another cool feature I'd like to point out is, are the pop-up sockets, which is really, really useful if you're charging a phone while you're eating or if you're doing some work from the, from the dining table. And then normal configuration for us after the sink, we have a dishwasher again by Siemens, and then this is your pull-out bin unit. And we've actually got an internal drawer here, which is perfect for actually excess bin bags. And one other thing I'd like to point out, a really, really nice thing we don't do too often is just an external display unit, which comes up from the worktop. We're mixing and matching the two materials that are in the rest of the kitchen. So we've got the charcoal flow back panel with a satin black shelving, again, with recessed um, LED lighting in there and then lighting on three sides on the back panel so it glows and it has sort of a 3D effect, sits forward. Really, really lovely. And that is it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. This has got to be one of my favourites. Stick around for the next episode. See you later.